Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Grace and on today's video I am going to be reviewing my bi-weekly paycheck for May 31st. I am going to be cash stuffing my weekly allowance and I am also going to be doing my giveaway, my 500, my 500 subscriber giveaway. Very excited, I am going to be giving away two prizes and I'm excited to share with you so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so before we get into the cash stuffing, let's go ahead and review our bi-weekly budget. So here's my spreadsheet. We brought in a total of $4,840 for this paycheck from May 31st. And um, here's the breakdown. It was a little bit more than usual, which is wonderful. So here is rent. Our rent went up by $25. So now we pay a total of $2,500. The internet is 100. Car note, the car note, this right here is an extra payment that we were able to do for our car note, which is wonderful. That put us under $4,000 with our car payments. I am so excited. We are right on track or maybe we're going to be able to pay this car off before the month of December, which is amazing. And I am super excited. So I can't wait. Then I have gas for our car is $150. Uh, school lunches for the kids. School is almost over, but we have about two more weeks. Um, so I think $157 is going to be enough, but we'll see. So I budgeted $157. Then I have Honduras. My husband sends money to his mom and his daughter. So we have $410. So that is came up to a total of $3,680 in all our bills and expenses, leaving us an amount of $1,160 for our savings, debt, and cash stuffing. So here, we are going to do 60 for the kids. Give is getting $10. Grace is getting 60. Freddie is getting 60. Our groceries, $250. Utilities is getting 170 now this amount that we have totals up to six hundred and ten dollars This money is going to be split up between the two weeks because we get paid on a bi-weekly basis And I like to separate it by weeks because if not I will spend it all I like to separate it that way We are strict with our money and we just spend what's in our wallet now the only one that I'm going to take out completely is the 170 for the utilities because I'm going to run to town hall tomorrow and get that paid off. And then everything else is going to be split for the two weeks. After withdrawing the $610, we are left with $550 for our debt and our savings. So for debt, we're going to contribute $200 to our Finity credit card. And then we're going to contribute $150 to our Best Buy credit card. That's a total of $350, leaving us with $200, which are going to be uh, saved. I decided to split my savings between the two weeks. So I am going to be cash stuffing $100 in savings this week. And then next week, I'm going to do another $100. So that is great. This is our budget for this paycheck. I was going to be able to save a little bit more, but I had to make some changes around here. And so that you understand what happened is I had planned for us to be ahead. In May, we had three paychecks. I was hoping and I had budgeted to have one check to catch a, to, to save and to get ahead. Um, for June. Unfortunately, we had a lot of extra expenses. And what was that? So we have the kids. We had a summer class that my daughter had to take and she needed $850. So she didn't have to take a loan. So we uh, cash flowed that. Then my daughter, she's graduating from high school. It's her senior year. So she asked for $800. We had to come up with that money. And then my son is graduating eighth grade and between the dance and the outfit, we had to give him $300. And then he had basketball tournaments, which were 
not even expected. I did not even know that was going to happen or it's the first time he's ever played for a club. So I had no idea how expensive it was going to be. So we had to put another $500. We went to Atlantic City. That was about $350 for the stay, then the gas and then the food. So all of this added to a total of $2,450. I had originally guesstimated to save $1,975 in the month of May with all the extra money and the way we were budgeting. But see here, I was over budget for the savings. So all the savings plus any money that I normally put towards our allowance went to this. The good thing is that we did not have to put this on credit card. The bad thing is that we did not save the money. This would have been an amazing amount going towards savings and debt. So, but it's okay because it went to the kids um, and things like this happen. I just, I just overlooked. I overlooked how expensive it was for these activities and I did not, good thing I had money, you know, but I did not have extra money. So this will probably not happen again until in a couple of years and then I know now that I have to prepare because I have the twins and the twins there are two of them so they're going to be graduating at the same time they're going to be doing activities at the same time so I have to plan from now starting now so this is all the good stuff that happened I was not able to do cash stuffings because I really couldn't afford to do an allowance so we kind of did a no allowance month which I'm okay with it it's just uh it was too much. It was too much. I was so excited. I was like, yes, we're going to be a month ahead, but no, but it's okay. Not a problem. So we did get paid and we were able to save $200. So this is it. Let's go ahead and get into the cash stuffing guys. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get this money out. All right. Here is my weekly allowance. This is going to be for the week of June 2nd through June 8th. And here's the breakdown. I'm going to allocate $30 for me. Freddie, my husband, is getting $30 for the week. Give $5. Kids is getting $30. Utilities is getting $170. Groceries, $115. And I'm adding this, the $100 from my savings here. So that gives us a total of $480. That's awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and count this just to make sure we have everything. We have 100, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80. So we have everything here. That's perfect. So how is everybody doing? Are you all doing well? I hope you all had a wonderful weekend. We had a little, I cooked burgers yesterday on the grill. So that was nice. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into cash stuffing our wallet. I did change some of my envelopes. I changed some of my envelopes to these beautiful green ones, which I love. All right, so Grace getting $30 for me this week. This week, it's going to be busy with um, my son's eighth grade dance. I volunteered to be in the decorating committee. My son was like, no, mom, don't go. And I'm like, yes, I'm going. <laughs> my husband's getting 30 We also had games we only have like two soccer games left basketball is done and kids is getting 30 so it's been a very busy past couple of weeks very very busy I underestimated the amount of time that everything would take but we're gonna see if we take a break from coaching next season we don't know yet but we'll see. Give is getting five. So my routine is get up, go to take the kids to school, go to work, come home, cook, go to practice, go to Kevin's practice, come back, go to sleep, wake up. It's like all week. Give gets five, then spending. I'm going to put here the grocery money. 
So we're going to do, let's do a 50, two 20s, a 10, and then I'm going to do a 5, and another 10. Let's see. This should be 115. So 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 15. Perfect. This is going to be for our groceries. All right. And then miscellaneous, I'm going to use this envelope for our utilities. I got to go pay the water. So that's going to be 150. Uh, let me just do a 10, a 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Yep. Because that way I have change in case it's not a whole, I think it's 169 something. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to take some ones in case I need change. So now we have 100, 150, 160, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. This is going to be paid tomorrow. All right. Perfect. So now we're all set here. And then these should be my $100 for my savings challenges. I got to get some change. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Okay, so I'm going to put them here for now. I'll, I just finished a couple of mini saving challenges. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick bill exchange so that I have some smaller bills here for my savings challenges or games. And that is that, guys. All right, guys, so we're done with our cash stuffing. Now I want to show you my prices for my 500 subscriber giveaway. I am going to be giving out two prices. And they're going to be, I will show you, let's get it. So I have this Domino Savings Challenge from Kimmy's Budget. I really love this. This is super, super fun. I have this challenge as well. The next one you're going to be getting is this bingo board and save the color board from Save with Judy. So you have two in one. It has its own little envelope here. And you will get $25 gift. So this is my giveaway price number one. Super exciting. So let's take this out of here. And my giveaway gift number two will be this Roll the Die Savings Challenge, which is super cute. And this is from Savvy Budgets. So you get this nice little board and you get a bingo budget board and this one is from craft co budgets and this right here is the second challenge so you have one on in the front and one in the back this is a scratch off and it comes with a die two dies here and then you get 25 dollars so this is giveaway price number two so I'm super excited for these giveaways and I am going to let you know what the rules are. So these are the ones that we have. Oh my goodness, sorry. This does not look pretty at all here, but this is, there we go. Okay, these are the prices. If you're interested in participating in this giveaway, you must be publicly subscribed to my channel. Uh, like this video must be 18 years or older and must be willing to send me your address for me to mail you this, uh, the gifts out. Also, you're going to put in the comments for price number one, you're gonna put, I took both of these, so it's gonna be hashtag bingo roll, okay? So this is for this one. And if you're interested in price number two, this one is also a bingo, yep. So if you're interested in price number two, write in the comments, hashtag bingo domino. All right, 
So here they are. I will be announcing the winners from the giveaway on June 15th. So that gives us a little time to have people watch the video and be able to participate. So yeah, I'm very excited. This is all for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like this type of videos, please consider subscribing. I really would love to have you joining me on this journey. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Until then, stay safe and God bless. Bye.